I didn't even know what a venture capitalist was when I was in college, but I knew that I was interested in technology, I was interested in finance, I wanted to make an impact on the world. I was born in uh, Nairobi, wanted to do something that was cross-border, and I ended up, through discovery really, uh, finding out that I, I loved venture capital, and when I didn't see a fund that uh, kind of represented the thesis that I believed in, I decided to go out and start my own. When I launched Future Perfect Ventures, the thesis was around distributed connectivity. This idea that we're going to have so many more people online, so many more machines online than we've ever had before. So right now we have three billion people connected to the internet. In five to 10 years, that's set to double to six billion people. All that connectivity is going to create opportunities for new business models. And a lot of the places where there are going to be new business models, there's no financial institutions in place the way we see it in, in the US. And so FinTech was really a big part of the thesis of figuring out what's next in this hyper-connected world. And just like we saw the epicenter or the uh, uh, the emergence of mobile banking in Kenya through M-Pesa in 2007, we're going to see innovation happening at the edges all around the world. We'll continue to see it in Silicon Valley, we're going to continue to see it in New York, but we're going to see it in places like Nairobi, in Mumbai, in Manila, in uh, Rio. And that's what's really exciting to me, is people on the ground creating services that make sense for these new populations. I also think that data analytics and security are going to be key parts of the fintech ecosystem in the next five to ten years. We're seeing a number of hacks happening. Our data is not secure right now and the on-ramps and off-ramps to, to make it secure are going to present a lot of opportunity for a venture capitalist like myself. And uh, the data analytics of being able to take all these digital crumbs we're, we're creating and create some purpose around that to have better credit scoring, better risk assessment, better tools of getting the right data to the right person at the right time. So that's all in, in the very beginning stages, and that's why I think the next five years are going to be great for fintech investing.